Cross site scripting, the fun one. Uh, terminate. Start. Cross site scripting, also known as XX. XSS is a security vulnerability typically found in web applications. It's a type of injection which can allow an attacker to execute malicious scripts, have it execute on the victim's machine. A web application is vulnerable to XSS if it uses unsanitized user input. Uh, Cross-site scripting is possible in JavaScript, PHP, Flash and CSS. There are many types of cross-site scripting. Stored as XSS, the most dangerous type, is where the malicious string originates from a website's database. This often happens when a website allows user input that is not sanitized, i.e. removing the bad parts of an input when inserted into the database. Reflected cross-site scripting, the malicious payload is part of the victim's request to the website. The website includes this payload in the response back to the user to summarize, an attacker needs to trick a victim into clicking a URL to execute the payload. DOM-based cross-site scripting stands for Document Object Model and is well, DOM stands for Document Object Model and is a programming interface for the HTML and XML documents. It represents the page so that programs can change the document structure, style and content. A page is a doc a web page is a document, and this document can be either displayed in the browser window or as the HTML source. Yeah, it doesn't really explain what DOM XXS is, but sure. Um, for more cross site scripting explanations and exercises, check out the XSS room. And of course, it's fucking subscriber only. Uh, remember, cross-site scripting is a vulnerability that can be exploited to execute malicious JavaScript on a victim's machine. Check out some common payloads and types used. So we have a pop-up, just using the alert function. Uh, writing HTML, document.write, keyloggers, that's actually embedding that somewhere. Uh, port scanning. <laughs> it's quite cool. Let's have to check this out. Let's see if it's got. Uh, This is a good website. Sissinth Mind says the best website ever. <laughs> yeah. Loading X S S payloads. This is looking more promising. There's quite a few in there. That's just the text file. Where's the um <laughs> I was trying to find because this gives you examples for doing like key logging and port scan. So I was hoping that those examples, like this JS file, would be somewhere on here or something similar. Check way back machine. That is a good shout. Uh, way back.
Well, it's only this year it got knocked off then. Yeah, cool. Hack.com keylog of PHP. So... <laughs> So it's taking the document, adding an, inf an event listener so that every time you type, it gets the key and then set in. So every second, it's then creating an image with the source of the, the like the image file being key. So you'd have the the server side. Basically, you can host web link, but the PHP is required. Nightbot says. At Sysynth in line, greater than oops, I did it again. <laughs> Stop posting links. Warning. Don't worry about that, the links. <laughs> um, thank you for the look, Nick. I'll catch you in a sec, I guess. Um, yeah, you, hack, you host something on the. Less than three. <laughs> yeah. So you just capture the, the inbound um, image data. Mind says, if you just use a simple HTTP server, it'll still capture the URL parameters submitted. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you can do it that way as well. Just somewhere that you, you basically just need the server to receive the information. Hirakai says Ha ha, it's time to destroy monsters like Sad Hebaim. Sissinth Mind says But, if you obviously make a PHP input handler to dump the inputs into a log, it'll still dump to a log a little more smoothly. Mm -hmm. Hirakai says But I am here. Web link. Ma ha ha. Ma ha ha. Yeah, I guess you don't even need a PHP input handler, just like anything that will take the incoming data just like you say spit it into a log and you've got it Nightbot says you can change your TDS voice here web link all right so in your browser click on the reflected XSS tab does anything about this fucking website work? Hirakai says Good luck buddy One of those really pissed me off <laughs> Probably this one because it's not loading <laughs> Sissing Time says Yep, the log is just a little more tedious because it requires parsing it into a usable data dump mm -hmm. Hirakai says That room could use updating Nightbot mm. says 15 subscribers to go until we reach the goal of 15 and unlock new emote slots. Use these <laughs> prime subs if you have them. And glitch Twitch votes. 15 subs to go until I reach a goal of 15, which means I've got none. Sad face. Da -na 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 -na. Oh, this song reminds me actually, the new Kirby came out on Switch the other day. All over that. Why don't you load? Have my VPN died or some shit? No. No, I'm still connected. Thank you for the subscription. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> nice one. I was joking. I don't expect anyone to sub. <laughs> Let's do a shout out there in a Sarkai. Nightbox says It is a random person's blog at the write up. Playing Monster Hunter World. I can't I couldn't think of a more now you have one conniving or evil place to put malware. <laughs> <laughs> 
on the right up for the fucking Valware room. <laughs> <laughs> Is that not is that not a good idea? Maybe it's just twisted me to think that. But if that isn't the perfect place to put some malware, shit, dude. <laughs> oh, you evil git! Was that? Were you just thinking out loud then, putting malware on the on the walkthrough, or uh, was that actually what had happened? That oh, works now. There we go. Um, click on Reflected XSS and tab onto the nav bar. I was thinking out loud. Oh, cool. <laughs> you have the mind of an evil genius, sir. So tab onto the nav bar, craft a Reflected XSS payload that will cause a pop up saying hello. Somebody's legit learning. <laughs> yeah, and you should. <laughs> uh, right. <laughs> well, it's all good. I think you've got to think like a dodgy bastard to really sort of sort of just to be in this industry I think if you're not thinking like to, like a dodgy gear you're not um you haven't got the right mindset have you you gotta you gotta think like a hacker or think like an attacker uh, there is more XSS than you think you're 100 percent right uh, it'll cause a pop-up saying hello oh, was I was actually supposed to capture that Cool. Uh, on the same reflective page, craft a reflected cross site script payload that will cause a pop up with your machine's IP address. Um, how do we do that? It's the in JavaScript window location dot hostname will show your hostname. So instead of alert, or instead of alert, hello, do that. Reflected XSS for the win. Sissinth mind right. says, Yay, Dom is a deep dodgy fuck. <laughs> Maybe a pal what's hidden in there. <laughs> what, in, in this? Well, there's the dom. In general, what's kept in the dom space? Hmm. Or even uh, local storage is always a fun one. Uh, then add a comment and see if you can insert some of your own HTML. Do you mean stored? Uh, yeah, now I'm going to go to stored, right? So, so stored. Uh, register test test. Hey everyone. Hey Jack. How's you? Uh, script ah. <laughs> I 
Alert, well done, level two, sweet. Does I actually just want that? Oh, no. oh wait, I've actually done that one. Hey, okay, so does it just want HTML? No, yeah. oh, I'm gonna have to fucking reset it now, aren't I? Oh, no, there we go. That's for Q1 HTML tags. Uh, change XSS Playground to I am a hacker by adding a comment using JavaScript. Oh, they give you that. Uh, let's see. pretend I didn't see that. Alright, so we should do inspect. So, THM title. This have to be caps. I think it does, doesn't it? change to uh, I am a hacker let's just copy it in case it doesn't work hey Websites can be easily defaced with process scripting. 